Here's something you'll never have seen before. As far as anyone knows, this is the first time a Chinook has airlifted a Hawk jet. The helicopter from 27 Squadron, based at RAF Odium in Hampshire, lifted the jet at Boscombe Down, and they're now heading for Old Serum Airfield, where the Hawk will go into a museum. Hundreds of spectators have come out to get their photos, but they probably won't be as spectacular as the view from the camera mounted on the plane itself. Several of those flying today were involved in the recent Whaley Bridge Dam crisis, so they'll be well used to underslung loads. But the Hawk behaves differently to a bag of aggregate, and the downdraft as the plane is lowered causes the jet to spin. Careful flying needed, but eventually the Hawk makes her final landing. And this particular plane is a special one. XX154 was the first pre-production Hawk. Uh, it's got an incredible history. It spent its time up at Boscombe as a trials aeroplane. So it's a unique airframe and for us to have it, it's a fantastic, it's fantastic. But before the jet can go on display, she needs to be towed off the airfield. Wendy is doing this, not the driver, but the yellow machine. Wendy started off as a bomb loader, lifting bombs onto aeroplanes, but she's been repurposed into a tow truck. Plane safely delivered, a chance for the RAF crew to reflect. They can be taking anything from the ballast that we see uh, recently at the Whaley Bridge to 105 guns, other different aircrafts, and even our, um, our self uh, is one of our special skills. This Hawk is the earliest in existence, and she's coming to her new home exactly 45 years to the day that the first Hawk flew. So I can't resist having a closer look. It is quite a thrill, I have to admit, sitting here in the pilot seat of this Hawk. Uh, impressions, well, it's incredibly tight in here. I'm six foot and I'm touching everything, but all around in the space that there is, is information for me. A display of analog dials, a wonderful display, things like stopwatches, the altimeter, speed, all that sort of thing. Dials continue alongside me. Would I like to fly this plane? No, <laughs> I think I would just feel so enclosed and small up in the sky but it is great to sit in it. The Hawk will now be on display alongside a variety of airframes and artefacts which showcase the history of Boscombe Down and the role played there in flight development down the years.